Am I the asshole? For always letting my middle daughter choose her room bed first on vacations? My husband and I have four kids, Evan, Adriana, Elizabeth, and Michael. We try to travel three four times a year. Three years ago, the night before we were supposed to leave, my friend told us we couldn't use her cabin anymore. We were all looking for new places and Adriana sent a listing for this small town in the middle of nowhere. We ignored it the first few times she sent it but she eventually talked us into looking at it and it was perfect. We paid a little over $200 a night for a beautiful cabin on the lake with a game room and enough beds to allow everyone to get their own bed. The people were great, the drive wasn't bad, and there was actually a lot of things to do there. It's become one of our favorite vacation spots. When Adriana was 14, we pretty much started letting her book family vacations. She had to run everything by us first but she was the one that chose where we went and where we stayed. Her only condition is that she gets first pick for rooms beds. She's even booked an international vacation for us, including flights and a rental car. We've given the other kids opportunities to help with vacations. They all know if they can find a place that we'd want to go to and stay within a budget, they can get first dibs if we book it. The problems are that they have a hard time sticking to a budget or they're set on a specific place even if it's not suitable for everyone. They'll pick a hotel or rental that's nearly the entire or over the vacation budget or doesn't have enough rooms because it has a specific feature. Because of this, we almost always go with Adriana's choice. We recently spent three nights in a cabin with three bedrooms. Two rooms had a king bed and an ensuite. Third had four twin beds. Adriana chose one of the rooms with the king beds. There was a pull-out couch available but none of them wanted it. After we left, they were upset that Adriana got her own room and bathroom while the rest of them had to share. I told them they know the deal and that if they can find a place for everyone, stay within budget, and pick a place that we'd all want to go to, they can also choose their room and bed. They say they try but we always pick Adriana's listings. I told them her listings are usually more practical. We paid a little under $600 for the cabin that we stayed at after taxes and fees. It had so many free activities nearby that the entire three-day vacation for six people came out to just under $1,000. They can't beat it with a $1,800 listing with two beds and a single bathroom. They think we are being unfair and should rotate who books the vacations and chooses the rooms but I just don't have that kind of money to throw away and I'm not going to deal with the fighting that'll inevitably come when they pick a place with not enough beds or bathrooms. You're the asshole. And all of your arguing and right fighting in the comments proves it repeatedly. You're the asshole. Don't travel 3-4 times a year if you don't have the money to make fair sleeping arrangements for your kids. Make it 2-3 and let your other kids have some say. You're the asshole. I just wouldn't go with you anymore. You're showing clear favoritism. You have set up a system to ensure one child gets preferential treatment. Not okay. You're the asshole. Why are you arguing with everyone who says that you're the asshole? What's the point of making this post if you already have decided that not the asshole? Why did you ask, if you don't accept that you're letting your daughter create its sibling rivalry? Honestly, start planning your bound vacations without Adriana's input and let's see if she will like to share a small room and others. I'm confused, why is a condition of her getting to pick that she also gets to pick her room? She's choosing where you go and gets to pick the room she wants. You're the asshole. It's quite clear who the golden child is. I guess I'm going against the grain here but not the asshole. If she's doing the planning, I think letting her pick her room is a good payment. You're the asshole. Enjoy the shit nursing home you get booked at. Not the asshole. Why did you bother posting this? You've gotten a resounding you're the asshole and all you are trying to do is justify yourself. You're the asshole. Accept it and move on. You're the asshole. Instead of this awful system, have each child plan one vacation per year. 
Instead of saying no to the other children immediately, teach them how to stay in budget and how to plan for the family. You're the asshole. Quit leaving your responsibilities to your kids and do it yourself at this point. You should have never made that first dibs rule in the first place. Not the asshole. The opportunity is available to all your children. If they're unable to fit their choices within budget then that's on them. This is actually also a good learning experience for them on actually learning to live within a budget. Not the asshole. Everyone knew the rules up front. Wish I could get my son to do this. Info why don't you and your husband act like parents and plan a vacation with equal space for all your children? Not the asshole the other kids shouldn't be entitled. They must put in the work. Otherwise Adria must just stop organizing vacations. Natal life isn't fair and she did all the work so it's fair she gets first dibs. If they can't work within the brief of course their choices are not going to be chosen but maybe instead of just saying no when this happens explain for next time. Not the asshole she's actually finding gems for the whole family to enjoy. The other kids are trying to book dream spots for themselves. Not the asshole. Here's why. You're teaching your children the value of a dollar and how to stretch it. If they choose a location that is price, then you have less money for activities. Who wants to go on vacation and be stuck at the hotel? I'm exhausted just reading that, rolling eyes face, vomiting face. You're the asshole, my parents did basically this exact thing. Four kids and my older sister always chose. I'm an adult and can be mature about it now but even still, when I think about it my reaction is still being fucking livid before I chill out. You're the asshole. Not the asshole. The deal is open to everyone. They just don't want to do the hard slog that she does to find the best places in budget. Not the asshole seems fair to me. Not the asshole. This is a very fair deal. Not the asshole, she does the work she gets to choose. Not the asshole. Works for me. Not the asshole. The other children can try a bit harder to find accommodation within your budget and engaging activities. I think this is fair, honestly. The other kids know the deal. She seems to have a knack for it. I don't think parent is the uh here. Not the asshole. Adriana is killing it she's probably found a good side income too if she wants to pursue this for others. Tell your other kids to step up their game. Not the asshole, your daughter must put a lot of effort into planning the vacations. She deserves first pick. Not the asshole the other kids have the opportunity, but they don't take it, that's on them. Not the asshole tell them to ask Adriana how she does it and then follow her formula. They can learn and it is a good life lesson for them. Natar. Trip planning is hard, she has earned it. If they want first dibs, they need to try harder. Fair is ridiculous when they literally can't do the planning within the budget. Not the asshole.